Hey guys, welcome back to a special episode of Conagen TV, the only place on YouTube where all geek culture collides. I finally managed to attain a Back to the Future, Back in Time board game. Now, I had this on pre-order through Amazon, but when it came time to uh, receive it, I got a notification that they said that it wasn't shipped and that they don't know when it'll get in or when it will be shipped so i canceled my order and that was back in june i want to say may or june well while we were at walmart today my wife saw this uh with the board games and asked me or showed it to me and so we put it in the cart and bought it so as you can see this is from funko games a cooperative adventure game by Prospero Hall. And if you guys can hear that, there is an ice cream truck outside. <laughs> Alright, so there's the front. There's the bottom. There's the side. There's the other side. And there's the top. Um, then there's the back. Wait a minute, Doc. Are you telling me you built a time machine out of a DeLorean? The photo of the McFly family is slowly fading. It's 1955, and you're wrapped up in the time paradox with Biff, Lorraine, George, and Doc Brown. Cooperative to move around Hill Valley. Cooperate to move around Hill Valley to get the DeLorean ready. Avoid Biff and his gang. Help George and Lorraine fall in love and crank the DeLorean up to 88 miles per hour. All just in time for the lightning to strike the clock tower, sending you back to the future. Contents, one game board, one clock, die, one clock dice tower, one turn tracker, four character mats, one love meter, two tracker cubes, six McFly photo sections, three knockdown tokens, eight 18 trouble cards, 61 game cards, 7 character movers, 1 DeLorean mover, 3 DeLorean part tiles, 8 dice, 44 power tiles, and instructions. Watch the gameplay overview. Go.funko.com go slash back to the future how to play. This is for ages 10 and up. 2 to 4 players, 50 minutes minimum. So now let's go ahead and open it up and take a look at the game. All right, first things first, we have the game board. So we'll move that to the side. And we'll take a look at the game board. Just open it up just like a regular game board. So we've got the clock tower. We've got North Shops. We've got South Shops. Uh, we've got Lorraine's house. We've got George's house. We've got Doc Brown's house uh, with DeLorean parts. Uh, we got Hill Valley High, the school parking lot. And as you can see here, this is the path that the De DeLorean has to remain on. Let me go ahead and angle this down a little bit. All right, so I guess that's the best we're going to do. I'm going to let you guys see it. All, and then I'll find a spot to just keep it. All right, we'll keep it right there. Next, we have the instruction manual, which is designed to look like the comic book Tales from Space, in which old man Peabody's son shows him when Marty crashes the DeLorean into their barn. And as you can see, it says here, Fantasies, Tales from Space, number 8, August of 54. We got the 
complete in this issue space zombies from pluto shocking science fiction rule book and you open it up and you've got the the instructions here and shows you the game objective all the pieces here setup of the board is here what to do on your turn action phase challenge types rolling dice for challenges end of game so that's cool the facts page is on the back we'll move we'll put that right there for now next <coughs> we have the photo of Marty his brother and sister and this is so I'm guessing this will show if you win or lose the game <laughs> I haven't gone over all the instructions yet, but I'll check that out on the website that was provided on the box, which I will link in the description below. Right now, we're just going over everything that's in the game and showing it, showcasing it pretty much, reviewing it. I may, uh, my kids are wanting to play this later, so I may film a little bit of the gameplay uh, to show you guys. Um, how it's done pretty much so next we have the DeLorean time machine and as I said the DeLorean uh, from the instructions it has to remain on this route on the roadway here it cannot go through here or anything like that it's got to stay on along this path so we'll set that there we have the character pieces. Let's go ahead and take a look at those. <coughs> we'll go ahead and open this up a little bit. So we can see the actual, which player is which. We've got Doc Brown here. He's in the green. And Doc and Marty generally remain on the town square from what I read in the instructions. Marty is in the orange. Pretty cool. Um, maybe I'll get some uh, some paint at some time, some model paint at some time, and paint these figures to look like the characters in the movie. Uh, along with my Ghostbusters the board game uh, figures. So this one is George McFly in the pink. And George goes, he starts off at George's house. Then also in the pink, we have Lorraine. And Lorraine starts off at Lorraine's house. In the red, we have Biff Tannen. And Biff starts off at Biff's house, wherever it's at. Where's Biff's house? Or no, Biff starts off at the clock tower. And then... The other two, we have Jennifer... that'll focus and we'll put, go ahead and put her with Marty and Doc and then we've got Einstein the dog and we'll put him with Marty Doc and Jennifer so up next we have these two an orange 
cube and a white cube. I'm not sure what those are for just yet. Then we've got the dice here. We have the uh, challenge cards, I guess. Not sure which cards these are. Uh, like I said, guys, I haven't had a chance to go over everything in the instructions. This is my first time taking everything out right here in front of you just to show you um, what's going on, what, what it looks like and everything. Here's some of the... Uh, these, it looks like, go on to the... Uh, McFly family photo. Take them out here a minute. There's these. Just like this. So you can see what fades away. like that okay and then we've got some trouble cards here and we've got the clock tower as well as some other uh, cards included in it so that's everything included with the game and I have to say I cannot wait to get started and play this So I'll, I'm going to go ahead and stop this. Uh, later tonight we'll film maybe one round of the gameplay. So you guys can see uh, how it's done. And for more in-depth uh, how to play the Back to the Future Back in Time board game, uh, follow the link in the description below to Funko's page on that. All right, so here's the setup, guys. We've got the clock tower right there with Biff. We got our four player pieces. We've got Jennifer, Marty, Doc, and Einstein. And we've got Lorraine and George at their houses. We've got the DeLorean set up over there. And we've got each of the cards divided out. And it says, place the game board in the center of the table. Uh, each player chooses a character uh, between Marty McFly, Doc Brown, Jennifer Parker, or Einstein. Uh, take your corresponding character mat and five starter power titles, which are these. Place your five starter power titles face up with the die symbols showing on the white spaces on your mat. Place a character mover at the town square location on the game board. Okay. So the die face up just like this. All right. Place your foot. Place your character mover, which is this, looks like. Or no, those are the character movers. All right. Mix up the power titles, tiles, which I already did, not the starter power titles, and place them in a face-down stack, which is right here. Place the George mover at George's house and Lorraine at Lorraine's house, and the Biff mover at the clock tower. George, Lorraine, and Biff are characters that are always in the game. Their movement is controlled by the movement cards. Although players also have ways of, to influence their movements, tip, in general, it's best to keep George and Lorraine close together while keeping them away from Biff, who works against your objectives. Place the DeLorean mover on the DeLorean starter space of the DeLorean track, right there. Yep. All right. Place the three DeLorean park tiles 
face up. Right. DeLorean part tiles. Uh, face up with knowledge symbols showing at their locations as shown on the tiles. Alright, so this one goes to Hill Valley High right here. This one goes to the South Shops. This one goes to the Clock Tower. Alright. Place the love meter next to the game board and place the love meter cube on the space marked start. Alright, which, what's the love meter cubes? Okay, that's the love meter, but what's the love, love meter cubes? I guess these are the love meter cubes. Um, place the six McFly photo sections face up, characters showing on the love meter right there. Uh, each turn the active player advances the turn tracker cube one space to the right. The final space represents 10.04 p.m. and when the turn tracker cube moves onto it, lightning strikes the clock tower and the game ends. Shuffle the movement cards, which are right here, and place them in a face-down draw pile. Place the item cards in a stack. I guess these are the item cards. Yeah. Uh, they do not need to be shuffled. Shuffle the opportunity cards and place them in a face down draw pile. Opportunity cards right here. Uh, reveal the top three opportunity cards and place them face up at the location specified on the cards. South Shops. School parking lot. And Lou's Cafe. Resolving opportunity cards and re uh, rewards players with power tiles as well as other benefits. Shuffle each level of trouble cards separately and place them in three face down draw piles. Place the eight dice and three knockdown tokens next to the game board. Which, yeah. uh, dice are used to resolve challenges. There are eight dice, two each of four different colors. Each color is weighted towards one of the four symbols, speed, knowledge, courage, and love. Uh, assemble the clock dice tower and place it at the clock tower location, which is right there. When rolling dice, you may drop them through the dice tower. Okay. So when we roll the dice, let me move Biff out of the way. We just drop it down there like that. All right. All right, we're going to start with you, Duke, so you get to perform an action first. So, you're in the action phase, so you can either roll one of these colored dice or move your piece where it says. And then once you move it, you flip it over. What's he rolling for? Okay, so then I guess move your piece. Because it says on the roll or says move. Trouble level one and movement. Okay, so trouble level one and movement. So that's you. 
you get Gang Eggs George's House. Effect. Move George to George's house. George cannot be escorted or moved by a movement card. Draw one power. Okay. Here's your one power. Alright. And then the movement card. Move George counterclockwise three spaces. This one, match. two, three. This actually matches up with these two, but just the opposite. Mm -hmm. okay. But if I just do that, then it is perfect. Alright. Yeah. Now. So that was Duke's turn, right? Okay, my turn. We do a turn tracker. Movement. A movement. Okay. Move George counterclockwise one space. Okay. And then and at the action phase. So for the action phase, I will move up to three spaces and I'm Doc Brown so and we move clockwise right or any direction any direction is right whatever it says on here one two or no one two three And now I think it's your turn, right? And then it says, once we return Jennifer and we move Marty, Doc, or Einstein up to two spaces towards her. And then I move my card. So it says what? Once we return Jennifer may move Marty, Doc, or Einstein up to two spaces towards her. And then draw a move. Move Lorraine counterclockwise three spaces. George counterclockwise two spaces. One, two, uh oh. What? Uh, move Lorraine clockwise one space. And then gang taunts Lorraine's friends, uh, North Shops. Uh, effect if Biff is at Lorraine's location, each rolled, each Biff rolled on dice equals two. Reward draw one player. So Biff is not at Lorraine's, so you get a power. All right, and I think that's one turn. One turn. If you enjoyed that video, make sure you hit the subscribe button right there so you stay up to date on all things geek culture. Also, go ahead and check out one of these two playlists on the side for more videos just like the one you just watched. I'm Shannon for Comic Again TV, the only place on YouTube where all geek culture collides. Take care, geeks.